Karan, it's a wonderful thing that you've done. I think uh, yours is an extremely beautiful life. Yours is an extremely important life that people should read about. Uh, I don't know if people will learn or not, but it's important to know of your experiences. Uh, my only uh, questioning part of this whole book is uh, the title. Uh, I find that a little different. It could have been titled anything. It could have been titled according to me, apart from the unsuitable boy, it could have been the, the good boy. <laughs> yeah, he's a good boy. Uh, if his father was here, he would vouch for it. His mother is here, she would uh, vouch for it all the time. You know, there are very few boys who sit down with their mothers, sit down with their mothers at night and discuss tele-shopping. <laughs> he does that at 3 a.m. wherever he is in the middle of a party, but he'll come back and he'll say, "Mom, many sooner would tele-shopping network for a new cheese. Aye, let's sit down and buy." <laughs> That's a good boy. Uh, he's an intelligent boy, I think. That's what the book could have been called. And intelligent not in terms of uh, just general knowledge or Wikipedia stuff or the stuff we all read on Google, but he understands things. He understands people. He realizes situations. He walks into a room and he knows what's happening. And uh, I find that extremely um, gifted. I think he has a gift from God that he can understand people and use it intelligently. Um, and even with me, if I may say so, there are very few people who can keep up conversations with me because I'm such a genius. But really, I say that with humility and modesty. But he's been able to have uh, conversations with me, the best conversations I've had in my life, late into nights in New York or here. Or sometimes when I'm just alone, I call Karan and say, let's just talk. Uh, he is perhaps one of the most intelligent conversationalists and speakers that there is at a personal level, at a professional level, or at any given level. And if he doesn't know it, he can wing it really, really well. Um, I think he's a very sensitive boy. That's what the book could have been called. Um, and it's a personal experience because I have the inability to express my feelings. I have oversensitivity issues. I am complexed and damaged. But I realize that the only person, apart from my family now, who can give me the space or figure out how I'm feeling uh, has been only Karan. He can make out that Bhai is angry, Bhai is sad, can't say this to Bhai. And it's not just me. I've seen, seen him being sensitive to everybody around, from the youngest of people, his team of student of the year, to the eldest of them all. And he can understand what is happening in your heart, what is happening in your soul. He's an extremely, extremely, wonderfully gifted, sensitive person. The book could have been called <clears throat> The brave boy, and I say this with vehemence and conviction, because Karan is different. He's extremely different. And not just in the unique sense, he's different. And it's difficult being different. Especially in our country, in the world we live in, the society that we have to face, he's just different. And to achieve what he has done, with the gusto that he's done this, with the aplomb that he's achieved this, is even beyond the greatest of achievements. Because to be different and to do and be accepted and to run wild and free in this world is a very, very special thing. I know him very personally. I haven't read the book. I don't know how much of the difference comes out in this book. But he is a different boy. He is a unique boy. And last but not least, when I say this, he is genuinely an extremely brave boy. And he's all of these, but together, he makes a very special boy. To me, Karan Johar will always remain the most beautiful boy that I've ever seen in my life. And I'm extremely honored to be here. And I don't say it just because we're at a function and you're supposed to say this about a guy who's releasing his book. I'm extremely honored, genuinely. You know, there are different uh, uh, aspects you think of yourself, when, you are, when, when I was young, I thought if I get an X amount of awards, I would have arrived. If I got an interview with so-and-so journalist, I have arrived. If I made it to the cover of a magazine, specific one, oh, I have arrived. I genuinely believe 25 years of work, 51 years of age, I truly, truly, and I thank you from the bottom of my heart for this, I truly believe my children, my wife, and myself, we truly have arrived because I have a full chapter in your book. So thank you so much. <laughs> God bless you.
And may Allah give you happiness, health, goodness, children, many of them, and everything that you ever wanted. God bless you and thank you for calling me here and giving me such an honor.